Okay, so I've got the axle up on some sawhorses here. And if you notice, I've got the wheels on, obviously, because I want to put extra weight on them. I want there to be plenty of weight on the factory installed spring perches because I don't want this to tip back and forth. So, got the wheels on, got the axle tube up here. I'll take my measurements, and then they're going to be, you know, roughly in this area. So I'm going to take the flap wheel, take all this nice thick paint they put on it off both sides, uh, get it measured, and we're going to weld on two new spring perches. So. Here we go. Okay, so I've got the center line marked here on the axle tube, and then I've got a, a rough measurement to the outside of the spring perches on both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get the flap wheel on the grinder, and I'm going to take all this paint off, and then I will remeasure about six times, and we will figure out exactly where the new spring perches are going to be mounted, and get them all leveled, and get them on. All right, after multiple measurements, I've got the perches where they need to be. And next up, I'm gonna clamp them in place after I level them, and we're gonna weld them on. got them right where they need to be. They are leveled. They are the right distance. And now I'm going to take this entire contraption across the street to my buddy with a way more powerful welder than I do. And then I'm going to re-level them and we're going to weld them on. Okay, we've got the spring perches welded on. Splash some hammerite paint on it, a little rust protection. And we are ready to roll this sucker up underneath and attach it to the leaf spring. So I know what you're thinking, hey, there's no tires on those wheels. Well, I haven't gotten tires yet. So I'm gonna roll it up in there, mount the axle, put it on jack stands, take the wheels back off, and then I'll get some tires for it. But that way, with it mounted with the wheels, I'll have a better measurement of exactly how big of tire I can put on without doing any trimming. So uh, still some work to do. Hang tight. Let's get this thing rolled up under there. All right, now for the fun part. See if we can get this guy whoop, about centered. Old you pulled off of here. Okay, so what I've got Got spring pads right here. Hopefully the package opens. That would be too easy. There we go. Up the top. And then I've got the U bolts right here. go under there so now I'm gonna lower the trailer down from the front to make up this inch of space here so let's get these centered uh, best we can 
little wheel chalk action there. We'll lower it down. Okay, so we've got the new axle in, it's resting on its perches, and next up we're going to get some U-bolts and some spring plates on there. But it's looking real sharp, measurements were good, we have lots of clearance for bigger tires. Alright, so we're getting close now, got the U-bolts and the spring plates. Now it turns out we've got kind of an odd size here because most trailers have an inch and a three-quarter spring. But this one's got a two and a quarter. So I got some different spring plates and U-bolts. Put the spring plate on there. Hopefully I don't get in your way doing this. bolt in you can see the shocks are still just hanging there so I still have to weld on a mount for those we'll get there one and two make sure this is centered down. I think next up I'm going to need to cut these off. These were a, like a limiting bar of some kind or a bump stop but they are definitely going to be in the way and I think it's because uh, with the previous axle it was that weird drop axle but it didn't have a plate sticking out the sides like this so uh, so next up, I'm going to cut these off, you know, I'll probably cut them up about three inches. Uh, maybe I'll jump on the side of the trailer and see how much flex it's got up and down. Um, but yeah, we'll get these tightened up, I'm going to get this chopped off, and uh, yeah, then we're uh, on to the next step. Okay, here she is as she stands right now. So next up, as you can see, these original, whatever these bump stop things are, you know, only have half an inch before they hit the new spring plate so I'm gonna bring that up about three or four inches and then uh, we'll get the spring plates bolted down I'm gonna take some measurements and figure out how big a tire I could fit on there but she is looking sharp My final step in getting it on the road was getting some tires. So I was lucky enough to find a brand new set of takeoffs. And these are just a, a Goodyear RSA, kind of an all-terrain tire. But they're big enough that I can run them as a spare on the Wrangler if I desperately had to. Um, you know, they're going to be a couple inches shorter. But, you know, like I said, in a limp-out situation, I could do just fine. And if I had to put my spare from the Jeep on here, I could also. Also trimmed up just a tiny bit on the corners here to make sure I had enough clearance. And we are rocking and rolling.